Hi everyone, welcome to Johnson's Corner. Today's project is all about making cement figures for your garden or landscape. Here are some I have made. If you can think of it, there's probably a mold available to make it. The internet and eBay are great sources. If it's something you have ever thought about doing, stick around and I'll show you how I do it. The first thing you need to do is gather all of your materials and supplies together. You don't want to have to go looking for something once you start this. Here I'm spraying the inside of the mold with the mold release. You take the mold and turn it inside out so you can spray every crevice. For mold release, I use rubbing alcohol and a little bit of castor oil. You want to make sure you get every place that cement may touch sprayed with the mold release. The mold is placed inside a fiberglass shell. That's how it keeps its shape from the weight of the cement. You can clamp it, use little bolts, or even tie wraps to hold that together. The ratio for sand to cement is one part cement and two parts sand. I use construction sand. It seems to have enough small stone already mixed in it, especially for a small mold. You want to mix it so that the color becomes just one and you can tell that both materials have mixed completely with each other and add the water very slowly. It's very easy to put too much water, so it's better to just add a little bit at a time. The goal is to get the mixture fairly loose so that it can pour right into the mold. But you don't want it too loose, so there's a fine line there. kind of ends up being like soft serve ice cream.
Now you just pour it in till about three quarters full. Then you want to take it and shake it. This helps to release any air bubbles that might be in the mix. And to fill in any of the crevices of your mold. And just keep adding till you fill it right to the very top and shake it again. Air bubbles will leave pits in the cement. And you should have some little shims ready because the legs on the mold or even the table or bench you're working off may not be completely level. So you may have to adjust with some little shims. I also tap it on the sides. That also helps to release any of the air bubbles. Well, now it's time to take the statue out of the mold. What you need to do is separate the latex mold from the cement working your way around. And we're actually just keep separating it, working your way around it. These latex molds, they stretch really good. And you start to just peel it back. It's this color because it's fresh cement. But as it dries, it'll turn to that chalky gray color.
all you need to do with the mold is to get any of the cement that may have stuck on the inside. It's mostly just dust. Clean that out of it. Try to make sure there's none in any of the little crevices. It would mess it up the next time. are popped back out and you're ready to make another one thanks for watching see you next time